Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy, Muhammad, Premier Leather Crafters here in Alabama with another video. It's been a minute since I've done one. Uh, man, I had so many different projects and things going on. Um, it, for, to all of you who have bought a copy or downloaded a copy of the ebook Next uh, on Amazon.com, I thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, which is another project that I've been working on ever since August of last year. We finally got it completed uh, June the 4th. That's when we did the launch on the book. Uh, next, nobody ever expected this, which is a, a very true statement. Nobody ever expected this. I didn't even expect it for me to be here uh, in business as well as in my, my leather craft and, and doing video uh, tutorials. Man, it's just been an amazing ride. And I want to thank everybody who had an opportunity and a chance to do that. If you didn't get a chance to download that book, please download it. Uh, um, we, I just done a new re-release launch with a revised edited version. It's still on Amazon for 99 cents. Just 99 cents. Not even a whole dollar. You know, 99 cents on Amazon.com. And that's next. Capital N period, E period, X period, T period, which is next for nobody ever expected this by me, Robert D. Muhammad, the Leather Cowboy. Uh, it's good, some good information. But now, that's not what the purpose of this video is for. This video is for, uh, because I've been in a lab, and man, and if you've ever been around the, the urban side, you know what, what it is when we say we've been in the lab. That, mean, that means I've been back to the grind. Uh, new tools, new tools have been purchased, new ideas have been done. Uh, I've been taking a leather Sheridan art design class. Big, big shout out to Didi. Man, who is the best Sheridan teacher uh, this side of the Mason-Dixon line. Thank you, Dee Dee. Much shout out. Man. And this was mind-blowing. Mind-blowing on learning how to draw uh, due to Sheridan design. But uh, if, if you're trying to take your, your leather craft to the next level, I encourage you to really find somebody in your area or even tune, tune back in to YouTube here. I will be doing some of those in the future as I get better with doing it. Uh, and it's just going to take your, your leather crafting to the next level. As long as I've been trying to get away from the western uh, side of leather crafting and trying to incorporate and push more urban, urban styles into the leather crafting business, I'm going to tell you, take it from me. You can't get away from it. You can't get away from it. But Anyway, uh, what I wanted to go into detail about today, uh, sorry about that, uh, my microphone is moving. Um, what I want to go into detail about today is this little jewel right here. Let me see if you can, make sure you, let me try to give you a shape where you can see that. There we go. This little jewel right here is one of my new tools. New tools, this little baby right here. And uh, again, you guys already know, um, when it comes to stamping, I try to give you, uh, basically in, in my leather classes when I teach leather stamping, don't try so much to focus just on the one tool, it's that tool itself. Try to use the tool to create other shapes on your leather work. And this is what we're going to get off into today. Uh, this little baby right here. This is just one of the, one of the designs that I'm coming up with uh, with this new tool here. Uh, you may have, you, you guys may have seen them with the cross uh, on there. I have a set of those as well. Uh, they're in the toolbox somewhere. If I can reach them and, and still do the video at the same time, I will. Oh, yeah. Two different sizes. And just depending on the projects that you're working on, these little jewels here. Yes. I think you can see those very well. Um, pretty much works the same way as this little guy here. But it's a little bit more polished. Um, and it's a lot smaller to work with. So it works great as far as the project that I'm working on now for uh, this evangelist here. 
and I didn't want to go so much as into the cross but you can see that uh, from here let me show you, show you here this is what the regular stamping of the tool looks like just by itself but when you get a little creative and put you another borderline on there you can flip that tool and do uh, run you another one right across the top now the thing what I want to point out to you guys is see the shape that the leather itself has taken with the little S pattern there that's from learning and working and finding out what your tools can do and I'm just beginning on this to see also what else I'm very excited to find out what else this tool can do now but here's the tip today's tip is well okay cowboy I see I'm using this tool and if you guys notice the little ticks right here the little ticks right there every crafter faces these even if you're doing backgrounding work um, if you've done backgrounding work and you have a a, um, a steep background or an angled backgrounder uh, and you know when you get the backgrounding along the lines of it so pretty much like what you see on this here right on, on that border now it works perfect because it rounds the center portion of this belt off but how you can see the two lines where each stamp is tapped but you can see it on the new two very good today's lesson is how to get rid of that and I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of that by using my handy dandy modeling tool and you can use this in any whether you're stamping whether you're in the leather carving it doesn't matter what piece oh my god I've been grinding all night I'm sorry I'm trying to get I got some other stuff that I'll be introducing to you guys soon but uh, this leather this modeling tool will remove all of those little raised pieces that you missed and how you do that we're going to take the small end of our spoon and let me angle the camera down some so you guys can see actually let me move it in a little bit closer I don't want to move it too close um, but what I want you to take note of let me do it this way that would be even better what I want you to take note of I'm going to take the small end the small end of our modeling spoon and I'm going to run it in that channel right there and we're going to just press that now I don't want to lay it flat because I don't want to I don't want to interfere with the my, my my tooling work here so I don't want to flatten the end of my tooling work out I just want to get rid of that little tick that little raise so I'm just gonna take this and run this along the inside of that channel now it's also going to create a little uh, burnishing a little bit but more so we want I want it to really work on removing those little raised marks which when I get ready to stain this is going to make that channel really defined and just bring out the tool and work on itself and like I said I'm just taking the small end the small end of my modeling tool now it also works very well if you're doing backgrounding work like we like we discussed earlier to where if you see any of those little rays where the, where the uh, modeling tool may have left an indention you don't want your work in other words you don't want your work to be so that people can tell it's a tool you want it to manipulate the eye and for them to not even notice that you don't want them to notice that let's get back to the small land here and you just want to take your time stay in that channel and make sure you tilt it I probably have this modeling spool tilted at about a 45 degree angle and we're just going to go all the way around just for safety measure to make sure it's all uniform I'm going to go all the way around my belt this just this little tip alone you guys will increase your work it will make your work look a lot more professional and you guys know I'm not about spending money but that modeling tool this modeling tool is a very good investment and I'm gonna show you this real quick 
of how we got rid of those little raised marks. Bam. Look at there. No more raised marks. None. Just from using your modeling tool. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that's how we do it. Premier Leather Crafters, uh, I'd like to thank you guys. You rode with me for these last 10 and a half minutes. Uh, anytime, hit the subscribe button down below. It'll always, I'm getting back into posting videos. The book is done. Working on book number two. I'll be going more into detail about business and business tips. Letting you know how you can take your leather craft and business to the very next level. It was told to me just a short time ago that I was sitting on a two hundred to three hundred thousand dollar business and I didn't even know it. And at that time, after twenty two years of crafting, I didn't even make. I never made past ten thousand dollars a year. So just stay tuned we got a lot more things to show you of how you can take your crafting and your business from flea markets type crafting all the way up to the professional big boys to where then you can start commanding that high dollar prices but just keep tuning in thank you thank you thank you thank you for the love this is robert the leather cowboy muhammad right here premier leather crafters see you guys on the other side peace